Now I'm just showing you my setup. I'm not putting this inside a computer. It's a, I'm just gonna use it as an external hard drive. I need to. I need more space. My um, hard drive on my laptop. I have two four terabyte drives, and it's just not enough. Uh, now storing 5K, 4K videos on the uh, videos that I have that I do on my other channel. I'm transferring sometimes 100, 200 gig files and uh, I need some way to store it, uh, especially when I'm working with, you know, 50 or 100 similar files. So, or temporarily store it, because uh, sometimes what happens is sometimes I'll upload a, a high quality video to YouTube and it'll be converting it to 4K and, you know, a day or two later, I'll receive a message that there was an error and, and uh, conversion was abandoned, you know, and so, I'll have to re-upload it. So I usually store the files temporarily somewhere else and uh, I just need more storage space. So, and also when I'm moving files between hard drives, this helps me as well. So I'm using it this way. I'll give you a speed test and everything with the way I'm using it. So I've purchased this in the past. This is the upgraded version. Hopefully it's a much better version than the, um, previous version the previous ones I used today and they work very well I have a one terabyte SSD and a four terabyte SSD on it and it's just for transferring a lot of files and I find that SSD I just have less issues with them in regards to if I drop them uh, I don't have to be as careful with them as I do with spinning drives plus the fact I don't think and correct me if I'm wrong below I can't find any spinning hard drive that doesn't need a power source over five terabytes i think that's the highest amount could be wrong and if i am please correct me below it's supposed to be two of this so that's why i went with this this was on special about three hundred dollars on amazon which is you know a great price comparing that i think my First SSD drive was 100 and, well, one of the first ones I think was 64 or something, but when I got serious, like to use them as an OS, I think they had, I had it at 128 um, gig drive and that cost me a pretty penny, at least a couple of hundred dollars. So it comes with the external, so it's gonna be a video of just my setup of these two things. So I may upload it with two different names, two different videos for the two different products I'm showing here. It has a USB-A to USB-C, and that is nineteen and a half inches, over a foot. This is the one I'm gonna be using, USB-C to USB-C. And that is yeah. it's just, just a tad longer. It's 22 inches. This is the information. So this is the packaging and let me take this out. 
nice and clear, you get a beautiful view of the hard drive. And I believe, if I remember correctly, uh, these are just spacers, and it just slides open. Very easy to use. And I like them because they always work. Uh, I've, this is my fourth one. This is the upgraded version. I didn't never had the upgraded version. I had the older versions. And um, they just always work. They're not super fast, but I'm just looking for them to uh, just make the transfer and to secure the data. That's all. As long as it's not corrupt or anything or like super duper slow, as long as I, it gets there, I'm fine with it. I'll do a screenshot of the speed for transferring files. And um, this you can stick. I usually don't, but I'll sort of leave them like that so that if it needs, you know, some cushion or some space to put the hard drive more secure that way it's not bouncing around in there I don't think I'm gonna need it but let's see and then so now let's do the opening of this thing eight terabytes Wow well let's see if I get those speeds I doubt it as long as I get over Weren't there five? Weren't there five-year warranty? I guess not anymore. Um, how do you open this thing? And I'm just going to slide in. Yeah, it's pretty snug. See through. I don't think I need a little cushion. Uh, let me. Uh, I don't want to take away this the look. So slide it in. This is the opening part, this is the back part. So, let me just get it in there. And, uh, okay, there it goes. Slide it right in. All done, all good. And this is the USB-C. And, um, Let's, I'll be formatting it to NTFS, uh, you, just in case for reference, just to get the hard drive size. The actual hard drive itself is about roughing it that big. The actual enclosure, just in case you need the specs or the space. And here to here. And the thickness. Uh, All right, let's put it on the computer. And see how it works. This is where I'm putting the hard drive in this little uh, pocket that I have on my Alienware X17 R2 laptop. And let me make the connection. So I just plugged it in. It's blue light right there. Oh, where's the... You heard it on my computer 
And I'm using the cable that I have. It's a high-end cable that I purchased, high-speed cable. Uh, if it's perfect, look at that. It's a little bit off. Not centered, but it's okay. As long as the opening is there. There, 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 there. And I'm gonna transfer, I think, over three terabytes of data. You will see it on the next uh, video clip, the next scene, which will be a scene of a screenshot of me transferring the data and how long it takes. I'll be fast forwarding it, but you'll get an idea of the time and I'll try to give you a rough estimate as to how long it took. I'll be transferring from the four terabyte to the eight terabyte. So let's go to that screenshot. up the video and as I said in the um, on the um, earlier um, I put a uh, text on the video that I had to switch my cables the cable that I had wasn't working well with the enclosure so I used the default cable it seems to be working much better than um, you know, it's, I think, specifically made for this enclosure. So um, use the cable that came with it. It works much better. I, I, I think that's just my opinion. I, I'm unprofessional opinion. So as you saw, the USB to USB, uh, the uh, three terabytes was running about eh, probably an average of about 150 megabytes. Sometimes I got up to 300 it took about 10 hours to get everything transferred over. Uh, then I took a 160 gig file and I, 100 or oh, 160 gigs. Um, it's in the video earlier from uh, 
the USB to the NVMe drive. My C drive is an NVMe drive on this Alienware laptop. And that was an average of about 450 megabytes. Uh, the USB to the NVMe C drive, the desktop. And then back again from the NVMe drive to the USB was about 250 megabytes. Uh, Blackmagic was ranging from uh, uh, write speeds 350 to read speeds of 450. So not too far away from it specifically being connected to the computer. Um, yes, it's about the 500 range, uh, but I can't connect it to this computer. And it works as my external drive to store like, uh, items that um, I don't want to access, but I need the space. I have a four terabyte NVMe here, and I just need the eight terabyte to just uh, not fill up my four terabyte. And I can fill it up um, after, uh, I don't, delete anything until last resort like i said sometimes there's a mess up on google something doesn't get um converted correctly it gets corrupted up there and i have to re-upload it or recheck the video so that's why i have this set up all right so i hope the video helped i hope you liked it uh like and subscribe and leave me a question below i usually get back uh to persons within a day or two all right, thank you for watching. Bye now.